How's it going guys, Shardblox here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to get Rick's Boombox from the Roblox Ready Player 2 event. Now this item, not necessarily the best. It doesn't come with a shirt or pants. It's literally just the Boombox by itself. It does also come with a badge and we get this Boombox from the game called Vehicle Simulator. So what we're gonna do, let's jump into a game and I will show you guys exactly how to get it. So the first thing you want to do is just spawn in your car, spawn in the vehicle, it doesn't really matter, any car is okay. We want to go ahead, jump inside of it, and we actually want to go to the radio tower. So I'm just going to open up the map down there, and as you can see, there is a flag, which is the radio tower. Now, we actually need to go to the secret laboratory, which is next to the radio tower, but the laboratory is not marked on the map, so make sure to mark the radio tower, and you should be able to find it. So here you go, we've got the laboratory, it's going to say lost lab complete, that's pretty much the first quest, kind of easy right anyway we jump out we run inside and we find the vending machine now the code on the vending machine is chocolate hot dog then it goes bloxy cola then it goes frosted which is the pink one then it goes glazed then it goes hot dog and then it goes bloxy cola again if you get all of these things from the vending machine it's going to open a secret lift this lift will come out the floor you want to stand in this lift and it's going to take you to the bottom floor basically the secret hideout and once you're inside of the secret base you want to run inside and we're actually going to look for some goggles which they're placed on the floor so just collect these click on purchase as you can see they're zero dollars click on the tick and we will actually get it and it's going to say a full moon music complete then we're going to open up our phone go into settings and we're actually going to click on the bluetooth labs ar goggles we should be able to wear them now it doesn't matter so much i actually had to reset my avatar here just to go back to the main menu um so pretty much i'm just going to equip them again anyway so settings labs ar goggles click on on and there you go the screen goes green and we've actually got the goggles selected on our avatar now what you guys want to do is spawn in a vehicle like i said you probably want a car but any vehicle is okay and now we're going to jump inside of it and what we need to do is find all of these floppy disks which are located around the map now the first one that i found was actually located in this farm kind of in the middle of nowhere but i just drove over there in my car and i actually started to hear this kind of like radar kind of like echo type sound effect and i could actually find one of the floppy disks so this is what we're looking for eight floppy disks which are hidden around Around the map so i jumped out of my car went and collected it and as you can see we've now got loads to collect so if you guys weren't exactly sure where this farm is i'm just going to mark it on the map for you guys it's pretty much just up here you guys should be able to find it that is where i got the first floppy disk from so the second one as you can see we can hear that ringing echo sound effect again i found this in the cargo area and it was actually hidden inside of one of the metal crates so if you jump out your car run inside one of these shipment crates we should be able to find it in there there you go that is floppy disk number two now on the map for floppy disk number two, it's pretty much just over here in the cargo area. You guys can see where I put the red circle. Now for number three, it was actually hidden in an abandoned warehouse. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Um, so you've got to drive through the wall here, then you drive up to the abandoned warehouse. And if you just jump out of your car, we can actually see that the floppy disk is inside of the building there. So on a run inside, go ahead, grab this floppy disk. Um, I will circle it on the map so you guys can see exactly where this is. So there you go, this abandoned warehouse type area. Um, that's where you get the third one. For the next one, I actually found it on the race course and it was just under the sign here. So I went ahead, collected that, and then you get it in your inventory. So there you go, that's number four. On the map, it's marked here, just where the race flag is. All right, so for the next one, this one will be number five. It's actually next to a big building. I don't know what this is, but it's in the middle of the town center. Um, I forgot to put the handbrake on my car, so my car decided to run away. Um, if your car does that, don't worry, you can just respawn it. But I went ahead, I got the floppy disk. There you go, so that'd be number five. I'm just gonna mark that on the map. That's this kind of area, this big kind of office building. The next one's actually hidden in the woods and it's actually next to a campfire. So if you just drive up to the campfire, just hop out your car, you should be able to find it. Again, all of these have echo sounds. I'm just not playing it all the time because it gets a bit annoying hearing these. Um, but I'm just going to mark this on the map and it's in the woods next to the camping area. Um, kind of easy to find this one. So this one right here was actually parked behind someone's garage and it's a kind of weird place, I have to admit. Um, so I went over here, just parked up here and I could actually find it literally behind someone's garage it says something on the wall um commerce or something so just collect that and that is where it is on the map 
So for the next one, it's actually at the top of this crane. It's on this kind of building site. There's a lot of like buildings around it and containers. But you actually have to climb all the way to the top of this crane to actually get it. Actually, to be fair, it's not all the way at the top. I got to the top and I was thinking, wait, where the heck is this thing? And then I realized it was actually on a lower part. So you have to do a bit of parkour, um, just get some parkour skills, jump all the way down onto the lower level. And then obviously you can just run around the other side and collect it. So there you go. They are all of the floppy disks. Not too hard, was it? Then we get a cutscene, and all of these laser beams inside of the hidden base actually deactivate. So those laser beams come off and we can now go into the secret room. So let's run over to our vehicle. We're also going to mark our way to the radio tower, basically where the lab is. There you go, we're at the lab and you want to go back to the vending machine and you guys probably guessed it, you have to do the same code again. Just in case you forgot, it was a chocolate, hot dog, Bloxy Cola, then we've got the frosted one, then we've got the glazed one which is white, then we've got the hot dog again and then Bloxy Cola. And then again, the secret compartment is actually going to come out the floor. So we're just going to run in this, jump in, it's a special lift, takes you underground again, but this time we can go into the secret area which was off bounds. So I sped this up, it's a bit boring, run down the stairs and you get to this train station tunnel thing, I don't know what this is, actually yeah, it's just a tunnel isn't it? But then there's like a toxic waste part, don't jump in that, otherwise you're just going to die. So you want to stand on the side and just run past all of it. Then we want to spawn in our car because um, it takes a while to walk so you can just drive down the tunnel. It's just so much quicker. So yeah, like I said, just drive all the way to the end of the tunnel and then you want to jump out of your car and we're going to get to this area. So you want to run inside, you want to find the computer and the code you want to enter is 1985. Once you enter 1985, click on OK, it says rocket activated. Now what you guys need to do is run inside of the rocket, you need to sit down on the chair and that is it. And now it says mission complete, you get a badge, you get a boombox, wasn't exactly that hard. I'm just going to fast forward this bit here because you don't exactly need to do it. But that is how you complete the entire mission and you get the boombox. I guess we can now go onto the Roblox website and we can see if we've got the boombox on our account. It should be there. All right, so on our Roblox profile, Roblox is being very slow today. Maybe there's so many people trying to play the events. But if we scroll down, we need to go to accessories and back accessories. And there you go, Rick's boombox. It looks like the icons aren't working, but clearly we've got it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, also turn notifications on. I've got some more event videos coming fairly soon. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.